Uh, my name is Michael Ford. I'm the visual effects supervisor on Hotel Transylvania 3, uh, and I work at Sony Imageworks. The visual effects supervisor is, I basically work really closely with the director, uh, the producer, and the animation supervisor on the project. And we work with a team of artists, not only on the visual development side, so the creative aspect of actually designing the movie, but also with all the teams that actually make the film. So the effects department, the character effects department, the animators, the modelers, uh, the texture and look development artists. I sort of help work with that team to create the vision of, of the director and get the movie made. I, I think the, the biggest thing is being able to listen, first of all, um, and you wanna hear and understand what the director is looking for because ultimately what you're trying to do is execute the creative vision of the person that you're working with. Um, so not only do you have to be a good listener, but you also have to be able to communicate whatever that vision is to the rest of your team. So you have to be a good communicator as well. Um, and I think you just have to have a b basic understanding of kind of all of the components that make up the film. So it's, you don't have to be an expert in, in all of them. You just have to know all those, how all those pieces kind of fit together to, to make the puzzle, which is sort of the final frames. You know, it's interesting because there's no real, like, that's the way to do it kind of path. Um, specifically at Imageworks, we have a lot, of, um, a lot of different departments. So we have a lighting department, an effects department. Uh, we have an animation department. We even have pipeline departments. Um, I actually came out of more of like a pipeline or more of a technical animation side, which is a little unusual for, for a visual effects supervisor. But really what it is, is it's the understanding, again, kind of comes back to the understanding of, of how you make a movie and learning how to communicate with other teams, building relationships, and obviously listening and adhering to sort of what the creative vision is. And you can start, you know, of what we do at Imageworks is we have CG supervisors or computer graphics supervisors, and they run not only departments, so I would run like layout, which is an earlier department, uh, pipeline, uh, working with the animation team, uh, working with the CFX department, and getting a better understanding, but sort of working with that team, but also lighting shots. So when we get into lighting, we have sequences that we're working with on an animated film. And it's actually working with the visual effects supervisor to create the lighting specifically for those, for the sequences. And by learning how to do that, you eventually can kind of learn how to do the, the bigger job. I would say it's it's funny because it's probably more like 80% human interaction and maybe even maybe even less, right? Uh, like in terms of like software development, you're obviously trying to solve big problems. You know, if you're dealing with water or you're dealing with something that we haven't done before. So those are sort of like the, you know, sort of the corner cases that happen a lot where you're like, okay, we got really got to worry about that one thing that we haven't figured out yet. But a lot of it is just communication. It's getting people to talk to one another. And that's the sort of that's the biggest part of my job is is it's almost like a coach. You're sort of working with different teams and saying, hey, you got to talk to this person about this, and getting those people to work together. That's that's the most important part of the job. And again, I talked a little bit about listening. You got to listen to what people are saying. So you got to hear where the problems are. You got to know what the director's saying relative to, hey, I really want it to be this. You know, I really want it to be red. Well, you don't want to give them blue. You want to give them red. You know, I started as a design major at, um, at UCLA and it was essentially learning more about art and learning about composition, color, basic things, basic foundational things that actually allow you to be contribute to a process. So when you're making a movie, everybody contributes in some way shape or form to what the final image is and the more you can contribute the more you know about something the more you've learned about something always reading educating yourself that's really what it comes down to is is trying to you can't know everything that's why you have all these other smart people around you but if you can 
un understand just enough to get those people to talk to one another and have them help solve the problem. That's a great thing of actually learning how to lead people and getting people sort of motivated to work together to help you solve those problems. But part of it is just, is really educating yourself. And a lot of that is like the foundational knowledge of knowing the basics. And it's not software, it's, it's more art, it's communication, it's leadership, it's things that actually allow you to uh, articulate a point. So those, those are the those are the things you can really work on.